Hello everybody, FungineX here. Welcome to the final game of our Charterstone campaign. It has come to an end. Game 12, we are doing great as far as the campaign score goes. Let's try and go out with a bang and win game 12. Main goal is always to have the most victory points. Our guide boast for game 12 is have the least influence. Doesn't seem like a too big of a challenge. We usually use all of our influence. Anyway, we do have a temporary rule though that says only you may use your Sky Islands. So if we throw a Sky Island down, nobody's using that. Uh, but that means we can't also use their Sky Islands. So that's probably a bigger hindrance to us. Um, but yeah, here we'll pick our Sky Islands. Let me get minigize these guys so we can see what we're working with. Um, Again, if we look, this is our last chance to build buildings. So if we want to upgrade our, our measly 68, no, that's that's Kevin's measly 68 points. We have 108 going right now. Um, and our worst building is this one to get coins, um, other than our starter building, which we can upgrade. Um, so maybe it's time to finally say goodbye to this, uh, this coin machine. I think it might be wise. Um, if we look at the rest of our scoring here, I'm going to minimize this. There we go. Nope, it minimized the whole thing. Um, so we have 12 used personas out of 15. So there's three personas we could still use. Uh, we won nine of the 11 games. So we, we did lose two games. Um, so let's try and make that 10. Um, we have 15 out of 16 capacity. We should be able to fill that last one at the beginning of this game. So that'll be maxed out. And our glory, we've only got 70 glory. Um, that's decent, but I've come in at a campaign, you know, closer to 90 or so. Um, but I think 70s is pretty decent. Uh, especially with these guys, the way we're playing with AIs where they just like to end the game quick. It's not always a, a, a reflection of your, you know, how good you're doing because it's, it's more a reflection how fast your games are going, right? Um, this is more <laughs> a reflection of how you're doing. You could win a game with 20 glory if everybody ended the game real quick. All right, but 995. We'll see if we can improve that. Okay, so choose our Sky Islands. We don't want to get rid of this guy because we're planning to upgrade it. Um, we can go ahead and get rid of this one because he's worth quite a bit. So let's grab our... Um, uh, this That's a nice one. Do you think we're going to get more points out of this rocket ship than we are out of this five coin one? I think we are, especially if we're getting rid of our coin machine, then yeah. Let's take this one here, as we usually do, and maybe how about getting a treasure instead of trading in a treasure for our two Sky Islands. Alrighty. Peril's out. Let's roll the dice. We Black is first, so we're second. Not my favorite, but that's okay. Uh, picking our guys, uh, the bouncer, not going to happen. We're just going to have to assume that he will not be used. Uh, the treasure huntress, when you ever use a building to gain a treasure card, gain two coins. So that we could use pretty easily because we have this now, this card here. I can't scroll over there, but that's fine. Um, and then we've got the techno mage. Each opponent must give you one minion. We're definitely going to start with this one. Um, we'll probably use our other free persona, whatever, to um, get that other guy. I'm going to look at the uh, cards that we have. We're starting with only a sorceress because we got rid of all our cards last game. Um, this one I'm not really going for. I don't really like assistance either, so we're probably not going to choose objectives. We might get the proper host if it presents ourselves, but presents itself. All right, so let's grab our starting uh, rewards here pick any peril we want um is there any peril to be traded in anywhere again i can't use sky islands so that doesn't count Just like this one the purple is reserved for him that's a sky island as well all right so it doesn't look like peril is going to do much because all the turret bins are on islands um so let's just get it off of this building because that's the one we want to upgrade and you can't you're not supposed to build on top of a building that has a token on it so let's just do that uh oh yellow's actually got capacity or not a capacity a reputation starting bonus um let's go back to our, our main strategy it works really well so we'll take a robot here 
fill in our last capacity. Awesome, 16 there. And our next, uh, we'll choose a guy. Let's grab the... Solar gets us extra coins, but I think we're getting rid of our thing that makes coins, but uh, I don't think any of them can beat the Amulet of Memory. That's a full extra turn. Uh, and with our Techno Mage, we'll grab the Treasure Huntress. And hit and go. And we're going second. You know that first thing we're going to do, right? <laughs> we're going to activate the Persona. Oh no, he activated his Persona and stole a coin from everybody. That was so rude. All right, but we are gonna do ours, so bam. Each opponent must give you one minion. Uh, do they all have minions? Yep, all right, what are you gonna give me? We got a ghost, we got a ghost, we got a ghost, we got a cat, and a ghost. <laughs> Four ghosts. Oh, that's hilarious. I guess we could win the, re win the reputation game, that's pretty easy. Um, okay, so we do have uh, some guests out. Uh, that we could go grab. Um, also some items. Uh, getting reputation here. Um, we don't have a building to upgrade this with, so we really need to look for one of those. I should probably get my persona out that lets me um, get another, or yeah, uh, choose the top three from the advancement deck. So he's a good one to take. Unfortunately, I need a card to turn in to do that, and I don't really want to get rid of the sorceress. Um, so let's just claim two things with our treasure card right now. So the first one we'll do is, do we have the two required for this? Why does Marita open? We're not, no, we don't. Um, so let's first send a robot here to get it. And we'll go ahead and take the knight. A new item card came out. It's not the greatest, um, but then we'll go ahead and use our amulet of memory and pick up our robot. Um, the first, I don't think that's going to trigger, so don't really worry about that. Let's go get this one instead. We have a coin. Yeah, we do. So we'll come here. And remember, the advancement map first. We're picking for our robot. Um, so which of these looks easier? Probably the metal wrench because it's our stuff. And then now we get to take the vassal. Gotta remember that order. They, they could use some description that you know tell you what to do, but look at our turn. We just got all that stuff. That's beautiful. Like our minions don't even fit in our little area. Just Okay, not sure what they're doing. Oh, did they, they just used some Persona, but I'm not sure what they stole from us. Maybe Influence or something? The, those are completely new symbols that don't really exist in the rest of the game, right? All right, he used a treasure to get a friend card. Whoop to do He could look through the entire deck and get any card he wants that's not a another treasure card, and he picked a friend. Okay. Uh, there is a treasure card here, the Scroll of the Earth, which is really nice. We definitely want that one. Um, so let's use our robot to go here. And we'll grab that Scroll of the Earth. And we'll stick an influence down here. And we get two victory points every uh, income phase. Good start. I'm happy with this. I would like to see some kind of building card <laughs> or crate to come out of here. Activate the persona, huh? Okay. They're both activated personas. I would like to activate a persona as well, but um, I guess I could torch the metal wrench. It's only not a bad idea. Um, I would have to use one of my normal guys, not my workers here. Um, do we have a coal? No, there's no treasure cards available. Anyway, um, so maybe we go... What can we use on other people's buildings? Get a chef. Uh, this is... Oh, this is... 
get a minion every turn. <laughs> I don't think I need that. Uh, but there is this one that trades in a minion for four coins. Oh, it's on an island. Bummer. Just want to make sure there's nothing out here that I should be using. Pay an influence. Oh, this one's influence two coins to get an influence back. But we want to use up all our influence, so that's not the best. They both got rid of their, their boat things, but triggering a uh, thing wouldn't be too bad as well. Um, because we'd get a free reputation. Uh, do we have any available to us? It says we can mark a uh, achievement. What, what achievement do we have done? Oh, we all have all three guests. Do we really have three guests? Are you sure? Oh, we did get. When did we get that guy? I'm lost. Okay, we did get that guy. Um, so yeah, I guess I guess I will go there. So we're gonna the five points, and we're gonna trigger reputation bonus. Cool. Oh, we are now winning! Yay! Um. We're down to seven already. <laughs> We're going to win that game pretty easily. Okay, well, they're all good personas. i got to remember to get a minion down on that building earlier so that every time they go get personas I'm actually gaining stuff. A grain in for coins and influence. Interesting. Okay, we're triggering income. Um, let's start with just some resources here. At this point, um, we've got enough coins for what we want, at least for now. All right, uh, next. Probably put a golem down. And no treasure card. Oh, there is a uh, another guest card out here, the judge. Oh, the judge would be really nice. Um, we don't have a robot. Let's just send this golem here. And we'll get a coal for that. Trade in an, old, uh, or an iron and grab two coins. Cool. Might have to go get our, uh, get a persona and get right back to coach. Because we want to use these robots a little more often than we're getting to. Okay, what to do, what to do. Yeah, I really want to pull this guy back. I don't want him up here. Nobody's going to use that island. Yep, so we will use... I'm going to have to use this guy. Yep. And the item that I will get rid of... guess we're getting rid of that wrench. Oh well. You know what? Can I go back? I want to check this card real quick. As you place a worker in your charter, you may discard this instead of paying building's cost to gain the building's benefit. Hmm. So I could use that and not pay an influence, <laughs> but I think I want to save it. Yeah. Let's just let's not do that. All right, discard that. Uh, we're going to bring out the coach. Which then will immediately, immediately allow us to retrieve all of our workers. Look, we have like one of every resource. Isn't that beautiful? Purple, what you doing? 
Why are you coming to get some metal? Okay. Where are we going now? Uh, there are no guests up here. So what do we do now? Do we go get a crappy card and turn it in immediately and get another persona out here? I think we do. So we're going to use robot here. We're going to grab any card we want. We're not going to do anything with it. So let's just get rid of the pumpkin pie here. Now we're going to trade the pumpkin pie back in and get a persona. And now we'll get the uh, futurist, I believe it's called. Yes. We want to get the Chancellor out as well. It's a free six points. Oh, there is a treasure card out now. So if nobody takes it, we will be going there. Cool. All right. Um, so our persona is going to get us two coins, but we're also going to get it marked off. What do I want to get with it? Um, not an influence back, not a victory point. Let's just do this. Uh, so we'll take this Amulet of Vitality. Beautiful. We will. Uh, do we want to reveal first? Yes, because we're using. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, Gauntlet of Life gives us a new persona. So that's a pretty decent one. So let's take that one. And then we're going to put back the Innovator, then the Scroll of Wood. Uh, then we're going to reveal again. <laughs> this is for the actual one. So we can now take the Scroll of Wood or the Amulet of Vitality. That's a pretty easy choice. But that's going to immediately put the Scroll of Wood back on there. Uh, oh, if I want. Um, so let's put the Scroll of Wood back first, then the Craftsman, then the Innovator. So the Innovator will come out. Perfect. Okay. I like it. Uh, do I want to use any action here? <laughs> Might as well get a Persona out, right? Get them out as fast as possible. Um, just make sure none of these ones I really want. A VP Nicole whenever I get a guest card. It's kind of situational. Inventor is also situational. Baker's nice, trigger that income again. We're not scoring objectives. Uh, use, yeah, let's get the Chancellor out now. Uh, now we will... Do we Amulet of Vitality now? No, I don't think so. I mean, we could get another <laughs> treasure card out. <laughs> that would actually be fun. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We'll just get more cards here. So, Amulet of Vitality. We'll use that. We take back this robot. Uh, then we're going to... Remember, there is a um, a guest here. So, I think we could actually go... Oh, we want to get a... Do we have a thing? We don't have a thing. Okay. Oh, we could spend our other treasure card. <laughs> no, let's go here. Spend an influence. We're going to reveal... And we will take the Amulet of Time. Oh, that's such a powerful game. Look at this. Uh, we'll put the Scroll of Wood back. Then the Craftsman back. Then we reveal. <laughs> take the Craftsman. <laughs> then we'll put the Scroll of Wood back. And then the Bread back. Oh, man, this is powerful. Now I could go again if I wanted to. Uh, but I don't think... I think we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, so he brought out the scroll of wood. Oh, there's a crate. Somebody took that scroll of wood. The crate that it's available for us is crate 25. It probably has a building in it. It might be a decent scoring building as well. So let's go get that. Um, 
We have enough coins. We have plenty of coins, my goodness. Uh, reputation, we are winning. So we might as well get some materials. Yes, let's put him here. Yep. And we will get one of these. Oh, no, that's not what we wanted to do. We were putting out a robot, right? Oh, we don't have robots. Oh. Um, do we have any way to get a crate card? It's not on an island. I doubt it. Nope. Okay, so we can't get that crate card right now unless we drop pull back. I think we might as well just pull back. It's a bummer, but oh well. Let's see if it's still around. We took a pumpkin. Green's getting ore. And they took the crate card. Dang it! <laughs> oh, black took it because green went where black's robot is. Nice. All right, so we do have a treasure card here now, the Gauntlet of Death. Yeah, that gets us another persona. <laughs> um, we don't know if there's a guest card in there. There might, but I think this one's better. Since we don't have an ore, we'll have to use him to go get it. Take the ore. Pay the ore. Take the gauntlet. Uh, we might as well reveal. Oh, the Tomb of Prosperity. Go get any card we want that's not a treasure. Do we have anything in mind? Yes, we want a building, so <laughs> let's take that. That was very nice. Um, we'll put the fortune teller back, then the longshore man. Then we're going to go ahead and use the Tomb of Prosperity. We're going to look through the pile here. Uh, we could take any of those items we wanted, any of these friends. Here's the two things, silo or the fairgrounds. We're going to take that silo. Okay, and then we're going to use this, and we're going to go Amulet of Time to use it. And we'll pull back the only one we have. Yep. And we're going to go again uh, to build a building. Our options are. Yeah, right here. Three influence uh, and whatever the building requires, which probably don't even have. We need some stuff. Um, it would be nice if we had this building right here inside our charter because we could use this land map, our scroll of earth, right over, to bypass <laughs> all the stuff that it normally takes. Um, but three coins is not a big deal. So let's take a worker over there, pay the two influence, pay the three coins, build silo. We'll build it right over top of here. That's painful, but. We've now got to turn into green. Yay! Yeah, we can end our turn. <laughs> we are taking the longest turns. Holy crap. These treasures are valuable. Combined with the uh, Futurist, where you can take any card you well, you know, almost any card you want before anyone else sees it. Whew. Oh, go ahead. Do some achievements, yellow. All right, the next one is Tripper to Reputation. He got it, okay. He upgraded. It's probably a 20-pointer. Well, it looks futurist. Uh, and it's up to us. We're going to trigger income next time, pretty soon here. Um, so I could, I don't have this two greens, right? And they're probably not any... There is that one, but it's hard to get. That one's on an island, that one's on an island. Um, so I could actually just go put you here and we'll use my treasure card to get those four victory points in a coin um, but I didn't want to do that I should have used one of these guys because then I can grab the gauntlet of death we'll reveal what we have to choose from just in case yes gauntlet of death is the one we want and now gonna put him back uh, Return, return. Let them have some friends. They like to go after friends. I don't. But yeah, we have four points in a coin. Beautiful. 
Um, Gauntlet Death, we'll use that to pick another persona. Wish there was one that's like automatically trigger a persona's ability without doing it. <laughs> um, Banker, I think, is probably our best bet. And is it wise now? We'll probably use it later when we have a few more um, guests, if we can get them. I don't know what that symbol is. <laughs> Whatever Red did. Oh, did he just pull back? Okay. All right, here comes some income. Why are you pulling two influence for advancing? So dumb. Uh, okay, let's... We got the plenty on the coins, so the coins will all take the resources, but everything else will take the victory points. Okay. Not a bad income phase. Three points, three resources. We want more, though. Must have more guests. So we've seen the two cards on the bottom. They're both... Uh, companion, not companions, business and <laughs> what are they? <laughs> These things. Assistance, there we go. But he just heard, so we've only seen one. Uh, how many reds are in here? Your guests. There are three guests. Okay. So our odds of finding a guest are not the greatest. There are still quite a few items, or treasures though. Um... So it's like, do we try and get lucky and hit a treasure in the top three? Or a guest? Hmm. I mean, we could put a, a robot there. Oh, no, we don't have a thing. Put a robot here. Hope a guest comes out. Three out of 19. That's not the best chances. <laughs> oh, so what I want to do. Um, let's just get some resources then. That's it's kind of a wasted turn, but it's okay. It would be nice now to have that trading in the five coins for seven points card, but I guess that's not going to happen. We're actually not winning, we're tied for the lead. Sebastian. Oh, he got that scroll and he used it there, huh? Okay. I guess you'd, it's too hard to go get two metal. Um, what do we do now? I think we gotta try and spread through this deck, so I think we risk it. So let's go here. And in the top three. Oops. No, I didn't want to come back here. Reveal, please. There is a treasure, and we're gonna get that treasure from the card, so we need to use our robot to pick something else. Um. What of these do we have a chance of getting? Probably the Everlasting Torch is a good one. And now I gotta put a card back, so. Return. 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 Then we reveal again. Let's see what this card is. The Chalice of Immortality. That can move it forward or back, what, two spaces? So you can end the game early with that one if you want to, but I think Amid of Youth is much better. Um, return, return, return. I can then use this guy. Uh, I'm not going to have a coal to go there. It's okay. I think we're good. <laughs> I want to go get that treasure card now, but I need a coal, and I don't have my guy. But if I used, if I pulled back my guy, I couldn't put him there. Um, let's just try and be secretive. Oh, good, we got a wizard. Okay, that worked out. So we'll take the chalice. I think we've got some OP uh, engine going here, guys. <laughs> Okay, now I get to reveal and take the wizard. Oh, he's right here. 
<sighs> now, <laughs> do you want to use the chalice? No. Do you want to use the income? No. I think we're good. Okay. Our turns are crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, how's our influence doing? We are at one. Okay, good. I wonder if there's like a record of number of personas brought out in a game. <laughs> we are getting close. Okay, we've got three guys out. So the next one we put out, we get to retrieve. So we can really put them anywhere. Um, let's just take another stab around the world. Personal achievement here to that. Oh, it's down here on an island. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't see anything that I'd like to do. Um... Don't have either of those ready to go. Yeah, it's really just going here. So, uh, if we want to play a cat, where can we put him? Only here. Do we have a card we want to get rid of? Plastic torch. I almost just want to go here. Kind of sucks because I'm giving him a free coal, but whatever. What are we gonna... Oh, yeah, we'll retrieve all. Yep. No coal in that uh, group of guests. No. That's okay. Nice about this treasure card is we can use a coal and then just gain a coal. Where's Grab Jeans cards? Yeah, we use two coal and we'll get a coal back. Okay, we are free to go now. There is a treasure card again here. It's another scroll. Okay. Not a bad idea. You get four more points for it. Sure. Um, why is it telling me I can get two? Is that for going here to take a treasure card? I don't know. <laughs> Whenever you use a building to gain a treasure card, gain two coins. I mean, why does this guy tell me I could get two coins from it? Oh, it's because I get the two coins from him for taking that treasure card. Uh... Okay, we're going to do this one since we have the coal. Or no, hold on, hold on. We need to go get a coal first. Take the coal, take the metal. Then we're going to take the item, turn in the torch, give us a lot of victory points, and then take a coal back. Nice. Okay. What's this one again? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what, the, what this is. Oh, it's triggering income for ourselves again. The banker. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. Chalice don't use. Okay. Sorry. This game's going to go long. So we're taking these freaking long turns. I don't know if we're playing the hard AI. Do they do these same types of strategies that I'm doing where you're just like, you know, cycling some kind of engine? You built a 10 pointer. Okay. Yeah, if I don't win this campaign by like 200 points or something, I'll probably be pretty upset because <laughs> we have been doing pretty well and these are easy AI. Oh, he opened a crate. So late in the game here. What do we get? A brewery. Okay. 
Green for friends. A pub. Friends for points. <laughs> I love you. Go to the pub. You turn in your friends and you get points. Oh, that's beautiful. And then a casino. Green for coins. An influence. And the gambler. Replace a worker to charter. Roll the charter stone. If it matches the charter, gain two victory points. That sucks. <laughs> a one in six chance of getting two points. <sighs> um, okay, what do we got going now? The scroll. Okay, that was the one we planned to go get. So we're going to go here. Yep. We will reveal. Um, do we want any of these? Not really. But I guess we have to because the building's going to give us a thing. We might as well take the crate. I mean, it's three points. Oh, we can't open it. We don't have enough influence for that. Um, so we'll take the flute, I guess. And then we'll put that back and that back. And then we'll reveal. And all we can do is take this. Um, I like to prevent them from getting buildings if I can. Uh, why is this telling me to build an item? Do I have the stuff for it? I do. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. We'll take that then. We'll create the wooden flute. And with it, we will gain a coal. That was kind of nice. Treasure card worth using? No. Yeah, we could like trigger income, then move the income thing back like one, and then try it again, <laughs> and then trigger it for ourselves. We could get like income three times in one turn. That would be insane. But I need more guests to make that an even better strategy. There's only seven cards here. And of those seven, only one. Where have they gone? The other guy's been taking them without me noticing. I swear there were three here. Two of them are um, things, and the Tomb of Peace would then let me go get the cleric. So yeah, I think our good, our best chance is to go here and hope we get lucky. Okay, so the cleric is there. We want to pick him for our building rewards. We have to pick something else. Um, extra victory points on blue. How's that? Sounds, sounds good. Then I'm going to go ahead and put this guy back, and this guy back, and this guy back. I got to reveal again. Scroll of metal. Okay, it's not the one we wanted, but I'll take this. Return that, return that, return that. Yeah, not only like first choice, but if I see a card I like that I can't take, I can put it further down so they can't get it. <laughs> the building in a crate out, guys. You want to use it, right? But now of the five cards, I want two of them, so I think we're good. Although we don't have a robot to play. I think we're okay. Here comes income. Oh wait, we just got the guy we wanted? Oh man, I think it's late at night. I don't know what I'm doing. Victor point, we don't need coins. We do not need coins. And we do not need coins again. We will take a victory point. And I'll take a victory point. And two more. <laughs> For good measure. <laughs> 36. Oh, purple. Where did you come from, purple? He's, he's flown up on the victory points here. Okay. Uh, so of these four cards now, we don't really care for any of them, right? Just item cards is what we're going for now. Um, but we could return the chalice one point. Uh, trigger income for ourselves again, which is not a bad thing. So let's do that. Use there. And we'll go back. Uh, oh, we could actually go here and get a, 
a boat, right? I think that would work. Then we'd be black. Why is it doing this again? I thought I triggered it there. Okay. <laughs> Confused. <laughs> I thought I triggered the reputation one. Maybe I don't understand how that move it back works. Okay. <laughs> I just gave everyone a thing again. It's okay. It's okay. We're at 41. Uh, and we're going to trigger it again. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Wait. That did not work. All it gave us was two victory points. What's that? What's that about? Once per game, on your turn, trigger income for yourself. All right, let's wait till next round because I think it's it's doing something weird. Um, but we can play our other card. Let's do here. We can reveal this. And let's look for an item. Well, scroll in the middle sounds good. No, I think we just want an item that we have enough stuff for. One toy we can do. Jack Lantern we cannot, but we're, now we're not really close. Uh, the chalice we can definitely do. Let's do that one. Oh, we can only take this. We were hoping to hit the Tome of Peace, and <laughs> it's the one card we didn't get. What the heck happened? We didn't get to pick our card. Oh no, L key return card to pile ear. I think we might have broken this, guys. Oh no. <laughs> we've, we've broken it. Oh, that's gonna. We, we found a bug, but luckily the game didn't crash or freeze. That can happen with some of the bugs, but. Yeah, because <laughs> moving that chalice back two points triggered income, and income's gonna trigger again. Whatever. Okay, our goal now is to shuffle the deck, right? So we get all of those treasure cards back in. Chocolatier, going for a chef. Two famine for two points in a card. Or two coins to get a minion every turn. 20 pointers that they'll never build. They might. They might get to be able to build them. I hope they don't. <laughs> That's a lot of, a lot of end game campaign points. Uh, okay, victory point. Metal. Uh, I think we'll take coal on that one. It'll help us get some of the other items. Hopefully the game's corrected itself of all the bugs we just ran into. <laughs> we can use our our treasures again. Yeah, you shouldn't reveal and then not take a card and then go back. I don't know. We did some kind of something weird. Man, they were able to build that. This guy's buildings look so weird. <laughs> they, don't, they don't mesh at all. Do ours kind of mesh? No. Ours are all weird too. Okay. All right, uh, so there's items that we'd like to get. We know that we'll see um, treasure cards. So this is our play. Uh, we will take the chalice this time. And then with this, we'll reveal, oops, crap, did I just screw it up again? No, okay, good. We'll take the Tomb of Peace. Which will take, are we gonna shuffle? Is it gonna shuffle? No, it needs one more card to shuffle. That's a bummer. I thought because we were drawing three, it would say, oh, I need to do something. Let's turn the sign chalice. 
And we'll try this again. There we go. Okay, that time it worked. Cool. Victory point. Oh, wood, brick, and coal. Oh, I don't get the two victory points? Or, oh, I guess that was here, maybe? Yeah, I tried, did those first. All right, the other one we have is grab any item, which we don't want to use, or scroll of water. Okay. We have now pulled away. Remember, we get six bonus points because we've used all our influence. We're also set to get ten from here, but black is on our trail, so we might want to put our ghost down to get a third one here. We don't have influence, so we can't. Okay. Maybe want to put a chef down to get influence back then, and then use a ghost. Not a bad idea. Oh, we're triggering income again. <laughs> Don't need to see them do all their stuff. Uh, okay. I'm gonna have way too many mineral stuff again, but hopefully this means I can build any item I want. Okay. All them points. See if we can break 100 this game. I think 121 was my highest ever that I've ever played in. Not in this campaign, but ever. But it was a very similar strategy. I was just turning in item cards all day long. Um, okay, are we going to go get back? Yeah, we're going to go to Chef. Do we want a Chef? Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and say, I would like to use my Scroll of Water. And place my chef here to get the five points and a coin and get my influence back. Cool. All right, so this has now got zero cards in it. Okay, it did shuffle. They took a card, it did shuffle. So now all of the items and treasures are back in here. <laughs> you took a treasure. Oh, there's a guest that just showed up. So we definitely know what we're doing now. We could place that guy out there at some point, but I think it's better to do this. Reveal what we got. Definitely taking that amulet. With my robot, and then we gotta return these. And then we reveal again, we get to take a guest. This is the only guy available. We gotta return these. Oh, did he throw the pub back in the deck? <laughs> There's a 20 pointer right there. <laughs> if I had a way to get three influence back, I would totally grab that, wow. But let's put these two here, because I want those. And here's our treasure, amulet of memory, we'll use it. And we'll pull back. Do you have a coal? Yeah. This guy. Oh, because I went in again, it triggered, it moved the uh, the marker because I'm out of influence. Oh, interesting. Okay. We'll now go here and hope we get a treasure card. We know we'll get a treasure card. Yeah. Oh, we can get another M at a time. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So we're going to take the iron chalice with the robot. Well, let's look in here. Maybe the Prosperity Tomb would be good. We get the Baron. We'll get that next time. <laughs> oh my gosh, I would just take so many turns. Oh, uh, yeah, so take the Chalice. Then we've got to return and return and reveal. Take the Amulet of Time. Uh, put that one back, put that one back. And we'll go use the amulet of time. First we'll use the Tomb of Peace. And we're gonna get our uh, our guest. The scroll bar doesn't work very well. Take the Baron. And then we'll use the Ambulant Time to retrieve this guy. 
Oh, we don't have a another coal. So this means we have to use this guy here, which is not ideal, but it's okay. Pick another treasure card. We know there are some. Uh, let's take the Tomb of Posperity. Right? Or do we take the Scroll of Fire? Maybe we take the Scroll of Fire. So we can get five more points. Put this back, put this back. I think our turn is finally over. <laughs> Just... I made this a game can handle that, like with all its the scroll bar and everything. We definitely stretched the limits of this game. We're only winning by 15 points over Bruce right now. Where did Bruce come from? What did Bruce do to get so many points? Uh, okay, so again, victory points and resources over coins. Except for coal. Coal is our one odd man out. So if I had the building where you could get item cards and then I could drop a robot on there, wow, that would just be insane. You guys think you're going to beat me by going to quota track, really? Really? Come on. I don't think so. All right. We need to throw our ghost down. No, we, we When did we use we, did we use our chef as a thing? Where did it go? Where did we spend it? Here? I think we spent it here. Yep. Okay. Um we got to retrieve to get that uh, chef back if we want to win win this track. So that means go here. Reveal. I will take the probably the Tomb of Prosperity. I could have just taken, you know, an item card, but with Tomb of Prosperity, I get the two coins, and then <laughs> I can do this. Uh, so let's put these back here. So they can't see them. We'll retrieve all our workers. We will build an item card. We'll then use the Tomb of Prosperity to go look through the deck. Uh, do we want the pan flute or the pumpkin pie? I think the pan flute is our choice because we don't have pumpkins. We can go immediately turn that one in. And with that one, we get a pumpkin <laughs> so that we have some of everything. <laughs> wow, this is a long episode. I hope episode 12 is worth it, guys. We're doing some advanced stuff here, right? We're trying to break the game. Like, if I could get this deck to where there were, like, very little cards that were only treasure cards in it, I could, like, cycle my turn indefinitely, almost. I don't know. There's got to be a way where you, you use so many of the cards that all they are left or take another turn, and then we use that to like get another treasure card and take another turn and get a treasure card. Yeah. be insane. Stop using my guess. That monk, he's not yours. Can't have my monk. Victor boy. <laughs> we have just broken the game, guys. So much stuff. Luckily, there's only two more turns left. This misery will be over soon. And will this be our last turn? No, I think we might get one more depending on where they pop their meeples. It's hard when I go second because I don't know what they're going to do. I can assume this will be my last turn though. Maybe one more. So we want to get as many items as possible. Um, we don't have a treasure card so we can't turn in here. Let's just go... I mean, maybe we'll find a treasure card. It's not a bad idea. Reveal that. We would like the go again one. That would have been the best. But oh, we'll pick one that gives us another card. 
I think that, yep, we'll take that one. Play Jack. And then we've got to put these back. I don't really care what order they're in. Take the... Might as well get another Persona out there, right? I don't know. We're going to build this item. Get three points, take another card. With that, we will take... I don't want this one gives me influence back, and I might not have a chance to spend it. So we'll take the Everlasting Torch. No, I can't build that one. So we'll take the Wooden Toy. Immediately turn that one in. We will then play the Gauntlet of Life. And... Hmm. Yeah, there's really not money that are going to help us. I mean, retrieve two robots, gain a gas card. There's no more gas cards in the deck. Uh, let's take that one. No, we don't have anything with a metal cost anymore. All right, inventor it is. Let's see, do we end another turn or are they going to end it? Red is not going to end it. Oh, unless he gets a uh, sailboat. He didn't. Purple is not either. Neither is green. Neither is yellow. <laughs> that was close. All right, so this will be our last turn here. I'm going to try and get as many victory points as possible. We are at 98, so we need to get two victory points to wrap this up. I think we know what to do. We need to go get a treasure card that is the scroll of water. Problem is that we can't use it. And we have unless we can take another turn. Is there a take another turn card in here? There are two of them. The odds that we hit it, pretty decent. So uh, we can't go here with a robot. Because there's our robot there, so we have to drop our guy here. Alright, that's fine. We will reveal. I don't think this works. Because now I have my guy there. <laughs> oh, bummer. I should have taken a robot over here or something. So now I can just say go again. And I'll pick this robot back. I'm then going to put my robot over here like I should have. Hopefully we get another one. Nope. We can't turn the clock back. <laughs> um, can we do any of these? Nope, nope, and nope. So we'll Tomb of Power it. We'll use the Tomb of Power to go through the deck and get the Pumpkin Pie. Return, return. Use the pumpkin pie. And we are way over with the points we needed to score, and we're good to go. Let them finish off their measly little quota things. I above yellow by 35 points. <laughs> Only two people even used all their influence. I guess green might if he goes quota track. Let's see. Nope. He's an idiot. Okay. <laughs> it's like free star if you just want to use one influence, dude. Last round is over. Here's the victory points. All right. Out of most influence, we win that extra glory. Here's the end of the game. Remember, we still got end of campaign. Um, so we got gold place with 112. 11 glory plus a bonus glory. 12 glory. So... Pretty nice. And we did win the final game, so that's 10 victories over these easy AIs. We want to check our breakdown here. A few of us got our endgame personas. Three of us tied on that. Oh, four people tied for two. Wow, okay. Sure, I'll give you guys some extra stars. I don't care about that. 
And let's hit the check mark and see what happens. In a ceremony involving the Charter Stone and the Gauntlets of Life and Death, the Forever King transfers his soul from his body to yours and is brief and painless. Congratulations, you are now the pawn of an immortal dictator who inhabits your body and leeches strength from your soul. You may have won Charter Stone, but what have you lost in the process? On the bright side, your opponents must dress, address you as king or queen from now on. <laughs> All right, we are now Queen Grandma Jean or Queen Jean. Pretty cool. 1137 was our final uh, campaign. We won by over 400 points. <laughs> cool. Uh, so capacity, Bruce got pretty close. Nobody else was there. Our personas are, are where we got a huge bonus here. We got 30 over our next closest, but most of them didn't use many personas. Uh, we got 60 for our victories. Um... Not sorry. Oh, we remember we get different varying amounts, right? So mine, my stars were ten. Capacity, I don't remember, but you can see they're they're varying amounts. So Maritza got eight for victory. Sebastian only got six. I got six as well. Um, yeah, these are almost exactly the order, right? Because we got first, he got second, and then all these guys almost kind of tied for third. Pretty much these three at least. Oh, one point out of bronze medal, Maritza. I'm so sorry. Kevin, you should have just stayed a ghost, dude. You suck. You played the pumpkin charter horribly. Pumpkin charter should have so many victory points. Uh, and then our building points, 125. It's a pretty nice 12-point average on our buildings. Cool. We can go to the more info tab or something. I don't know what. That doesn't do anything. Okay. We are queen, guys. Um, you can now play this map, like, again. Like, it's, like, saved, and you can just play, like, a standard map. Um, I don't know if this one allows you to upload your map. They were talking about that in the in the early beta, whatever. Like, people wanted to be able to, like, save their map, upload it, and then anybody else could play it. Um, I don't know if that's possible. I'll try to do that. But we can show the map here. There's our beautiful charter stone. We never named the other charters. We just named ours the gold mine. It was definitely a gold mine as we finished with 33 coins. Um, what? 10, 10 minions and 6, 7, 8, 9, 15 resources. Yeah, that's an awesome one. The blue charter, I think, is definitely the easiest. After that, probably purple. Then it's a hogwash between the rest. Let's go back to the main menu. I think that's in ends it. Let's see if we can upload the map. I'll check really quick. Um, not in there. This is credits. Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, so we can do a, a single game. And it'll ask us which map to choose. Oh no, I guess so we have to say campaign game and then it would do like a single player game with that campaign. I don't know. Guys, thank you for sticking out all 12 games of this series. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, learn some new strategies if you're new to the game to beat all of your friends. I hope you didn't mind all the spoilers. If you did, why did you watch? Uh, but I had a lot of fun with Charterstone um, board game. I definitely recommend the hard copy over the digital edition. If you're playing solo, digital edition all the way. But if you want to play with friends, there's nothing like having that hard copy, opening the boxes, ripping up cards, sticking stickers on. It's a much better experience story-wise as well. And you're, it helps you to concentrate on what you, the other opponents are doing. With a digital edition, it moves so quickly, the animations, that you're like, I don't care what they did, it's my turn again already. <laughs> I'll think about my actions. Um, so you notice that in that game, I rarely went to other charters. There was a few times we went and found some good, good deals, whatever, but it was almost always get a bunch of minions stick in our own charter. And that, that was kind of a, a case for the digital edition, just the way it plays. Um, but 
bugs i've played now through three total campaigns and a bunch of single games there have been some of those minor bugs we did get um or all of our guest cart guest stuff income stuff went to another player um we did lose out on that um robot picking a card you know a couple other little minor bugs but never really experienced the you know campaigns getting locked out or you know frozen or a crap do we have one crash bug i think we had one crash bug but we recovered from it, no problem. So kudos to the devs for fixing those bugs really quickly, and uh, it's a great game. Recommend you get it. It's on Steam. Uh, and go out and buy the, the real game if you can find it. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been Fudge Let me know what else you'd like to see me play, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.